How's it going everybody? This is Studio Link VST and we're back with another video tutorial. Guys, we got a free gift for you guys. Uh, 10 free chord progressions in our description box below. You guys can have those for free just to give you guys a little taste of what MIDI files are all about. And now with our two new products that we're releasing right here, you guys can see them up now, is our Trap Master Chords and our Trap Melodies. You guys will now have 100 brand new chords and melody files that you guys can add into your production today. In the styles of trap, you guys are looking for all those young Jeezy, uh, Gucci man, everybody. You're looking for all the dopest modern trap chord progressions and melodies. We have them here for you. We're going to show you guys it now. Let's get straight into it. We'll start off with our chord progressions. So let's close that down. Uh, let's pull up Contact 5 in here. We have our Hip Hop Brass to kind of showcase our chord progressions. So long as you have an instrument loaded up, and you guys can use it in any instrument, any music host. So you guys can use it if you're in, you know, on a Mac or you're on PC, use Logic Pro, use FL Studio, Pro Tools, whatever you use. You guys can drag these MIDI files literally right into your session and start banging out some of the hottest beats around. So let's go ahead and show you guys it now. We have um, a basic little melody right here playing. It's a, actually a drum pattern. Um, we used our modern drums and the kit was a trap rack kit. We thought that would be, um, you know, really kind of fit what we're trying to do with our whole trap style. Let's show you guys that now. So we got a basic little trap loop going on to play our drums. Um, let's go ahead and show you guys these chord progressions. Now we got pull them, drag them in like this, and we just literally just drag and drop. That's how like how simple it is. We made it as simple as possible. I love using MIDI because it is simple and it gets the job done. So now that we have our first chord progression in here, I'm just gonna be dragging and dropping them in here, changing them up, just showing you guys how you guys can add these and what they sound like. So let's listen to it. <music> That was a real hot one right there. So what this is, guys, it's like having a music teacher in the studio with you at all times. Or for those that are advanced, you guys have like a goodie bag full of the hottest chord progressions right there that you guys can use at any time. So you guys will never, ever have beat block again. Imagine that. Never having beat block or times where you have no inspiration. You could just grab, you know, drag in one of these chord progressions or drag in one of these melody files. And now you guys have, boom, an instant spark. Imagine that, an instant spark right there. It's right here, guys. So let's go ahead. This is number two now. We have our second chord progression, and let's hear what it sounds like. Another hot one right there. I'm telling you guys, these chord progressions are you know, really, honestly, the best out there. There's nothing, there's no products, there's nothing out there that can even closely compete or I can even kind of compare it to uh, because this is so unique. These are royalty free, guys. I made them myself. I'm giving you guys permission to use these in your productions. You can use them commercially. I know we're going to have probably Young Chop, Jalil Beats, and, you know, a lot of the other major producers, they're going to try to jump on this stuff immediately. This is like an instant goodie bag full of the hottest you know chord progressions and stuff like that and you guys can change them up you guys can play around chop them up you guys can move the key and change it to a whole you know a whole new chord progression if you want to you guys can do as you wish with them and you know have some fun and be creative that's all i want you guys to do is be creative be innovative and branch out and use these to start off a beat it's just adding a nice starting point and you guys continue to go on from there so i'm just giving you guys a dip you know help i'm just giving you that spark to go ahead and, and light your fire so let's go ahead and listen to this third chord progression that we have in here Another 
hot one right there, guys. Listen to this. That's 50 chord progressions, guys. These are 50 unique chord progressions. That's 50 new beats you guys can add right there. And then with the 50 new melodies that we can add in there. Now you guys have 100 beats that you guys can make right there on the spot. And you can even tweak and customize every one of those. So you guys can literally make thousands of beats using these chord progressions. All right, now what I want to show you guys is if we go ahead and show you, let's pull this down a little bit. I'm going to show you guys the screen so we can zoom in here and show you guys how you guys can actually kind of customize um, these chord progressions. So you guys can see down here we have the whole chord progression. You're seeing all the different chords that I played as well as bass notes that you guys can see down here. I see I, have been, I added one down there. I had a little... Um, I had added one too many notes down there. Sorry about that. So what I'm going to do is show you guys this. What we're going to do is... What we did is we just highlighted. You guys can do it in any kind of music host. Um, you can highlight your chord progressions. And um, what we're going to do is highlight our MIDI files. And we're seeing it's... It's playing in, what is that? D-sharp, also E-flat. So it's D-sharp or E-flat. Let me highlight all these notes again, and we're going to change it up and drag them up. So what we're going to do is, now we're going to drag it up. You see that down there? Now we have it playing at G, so let's listen to it now. may say, you know what, I don't even like that. Let's go ahead and drop it down a little bit. So now we have it playing at E. You may say, you know what, no, I'd rather have my beat playing in, in... Let's put it in B. It's that simple guys you guys can really use these and customize them and make them yours you can chop up notes we'll get into that a little bit later on in future videos uh, what we're gonna do now is let's go ahead and show you guys some of these melodies so let's pull up the trap melodies now um, and we're gonna also change our virtual instrument so instead of using the brass let's go ahead and show you guys the ultimate leads it's really one of my favorite libraries from us. Uh, and since we're making trap, let's pull up the A trap lead right here. You see it loaded up now. This is what it sounds like. So it kind of has that real saw, dirty south kind of sound. So let's go ahead and pull up these trap melodies real quick. You see them down here. We got 50 of them. And let's start at number one and just play around with a couple of these and see um, see what they sound like. Most of our melodies are only four bars, so let's go ahead and, and change this to four bars real quick. There we go, so we're gonna make that four bars, and let's go ahead and listen to our melody. It's a hot one right there, so let's go ahead and delete that and drag in another melody. Let's bring in melody number two. Pull that back. Let's go ahead and play. I can hear a hot beat, you know, being made to that right there. Let's go ahead and drag in another one. Let's. Keep going, let's keep it keep it moving. Let's 
go ahead and drag in a couple more of these. What's so nice about uh, MIDI and using, you know, the whole MIDI technology is that you, you're not you're not stuck to a certain instrument. When you're using construction loops, I know some of you guys see construction loop sites and stuff like that, um, and you kind of shy away from using construction loops because you're like, you know what, but everybody uses those construction loops. Everybody can use that guitar loop or that guitar riff, but with MIDI, it's not only you know that lead or that guitar riff or anything like that. You guys can change that instrument and it's still gonna play the same pattern. So I'm gonna mess around with some more of these leads in here and just so you guys can hear what it sounds like changing them to any kind of instrument you want to. So. that simple guys so here it is you guys got two brand new products trap melodies and trap master chords go get them now at www.studiolinkvst.com thank you so much guys bye bye